Hi folks, welcome back to another episode of RDR. Got the compact Rosario fired up for the first time in quite a long time actually. It actually gave me a scare. It uh, powered up with no screen. Thankfully a simple Windows B key hold and power. Got that up and running again, so uh, it lives to see another day. What I'm looking at today is something I find extremely unique. It is called Space and Astronomy by Walnut Creek CD-ROM. This is from 1993 and boasts 1,080 image files, 5,000 text files, and astronomy and space shareware, all about space. Of course, what else would it be about? Couldn't be more simply titled and straightforward. Well, so is the disc. This is the disc library right here in front of me, and I was fiddling around with this and just thought it was too cool to not share. So we're obviously not gonna go through all 1,080 images, of course, but we'll go through some. And I found this little menu that they built pretty cool. There's the first image to give you an idea, and it's full screen, and it's glorious. But this is a archive of tons of stuff. I don't know why it exists. I guess it's for educational purposes, but I have a feeling this company just asked NASA and everybody for as much crap as they could give them. And Boy, did they deliver. This one I particularly liked looking through. I mean, what a cool 3D model from 1993. That just, I just love it. And it goes on. And of course, I'll jump around a little. I can't show every single image. I wish I could. This video would be days long. But as you can see, I mean, it is just incredible. back here see if I can't get back to the menu I have absolutely no idea how to do that so let's see here we go escape maybe there we go there we go okay a couple images of astronauts I mean it's just really random and really cool. This was a little bit of a somber thing to see on here. If you know about the tragedy of the space shuttle explosion in 1986, this uh, it's close to home even to this day. There's some definitely some classic images on here as well. It doesn't get more classic than that, I think. Still a really cool image. And we have images of Earth, eclipses, the list goes on. Let's check out some Kennedy ones. Just random images of, uh, Oh, there's a description file too. We'll look at one of those as well. Just flight deck stuff. Random flight deck stuff here. Let's just see. Okay, so that's just like a... Little rundown of what it is. One more random here. I mean, that is a lot of switches. Can't deny that, right? Oh, I went one too far. That's uh, okay. We'll just jump right back in. So tons of images. I mean, look at all these. It's insanity.
but it doesn't stop there. There are programs. Now, I see astronomy related software for the Macintosh, which we don't have. MISC related space software and s tracking programs. Simulators. I mean, we gotta check this stuff out, right? Let's check out astronomy related. I might have said astronaut. I don't know if I did or not, but uh, let me see what I can do here. Let's just give it a run. Okay. This is in Athabasca University Micro Planetarium. No idea what I'm doing here. No idea. Oh man, this is so cool. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I did take astronomy in college once. It was incredibly difficult. A lot of fun, but incredibly difficult. And this just reminds me of it. Not that I know how to use it. At all. Zero percent. But it's here. And there's probably no way to get out. This is, it just gets cooler. Um, yeah. Quit. Escape. All the stuff I can think of. Let's just uh, end the task there. I mean, it's pretty cool. Let's check out some of those other ones. Let's see here, tons of images. Let's go back to astronomy. I mean, there are so many programs. Deep Sky Viewing Program File 1 of 3. <laughs> Deep Space 3D. Um, I have no idea. Let's go three. Ah, let's go six. Sure. Yeah. Are you using a hard drive? Oh, this is so great. Sure am. Actually, I don't know, we have, this probably isn't going to work, but let's just see what we can do here. Name of your primary observing site, I don't know, RDR. This is not going to work. Help menu, what's up today, comet. I don't know what we're doing here, so we're gonna bail. Because I just don't know what this stuff is, but I'm gonna go through all of it in detail on my own for sure. I'd love to film it all, but I mean, it's gonna be a lot, a lot of messing around. Space Telescope Education Program. That might be something we can run. Oh boy. S step. 
Space Technology Education Program and the Environmental Research Institute of Michigan probably presents Bird Dog, a satellite tracking program. Okie dokie. I feel like I just entered the movie War Games. Oh my god, this is so cool. I mean, this can't be doing anything. It's like F4. We're predicting satellite movement. Okay, dope. Um. Print this. I would love to print this just for fun. Looking at data. I mean, this is so cool. Okay, let's go to F3. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Why do I love this so much? Oh, uh, let's go to satellite one, satellite two. I can't do anything from here. All I can do is look at satellite one as it moves. So it wants me to use arrow keys to select, but well, that certainly isn't working. Um, F10 is a menu. Ooh. Um, F8? Are we going to update the program? Yeah, we ain't doing that. And I think we lost Bird Dog. That was awesome. I mean, that kind of stuff just makes my day. No idea what I was doing there. So that was awesome. Let's check out some simulators. Astronomy lab for Windows. Oh my gosh, look at all these freaking programs. Graphic display of the moon's surface. Oh, space flight simulator. Uh, yeah, flight simulators is what we do on this channel. Um, there it is. What am I waiting for? Nothing. Uh, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Okay. Um. Let's see, enter launch file. Sure. Enter date. Different velocity? No. Um, sure. I'm just... Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> uh, it's not the flight simulator we're used to, folks. By any means of the word. Simulator. Okay, there's sound files though. There's some viewers. Before we go that route, let's just check out something else in here because we have to. Oh, let's do this. Go. There's absolutely nothing happening. You know why? Because I didn't add any information. So maybe we need to... Just try some examples. Let's do solar system.
That is sweet. Let's do Moon. It's an orbit simulator. Pretty much exactly what you'd think it would be, only in old school computer lingo. Let's do simple orbit. I mean, it's so simple, yet I love it. Oh my gosh, this is a slingshot orbit. Awesome. Okay, before we go nuts here, we, we get the idea here. This video is going to be an hour long if I don't check some other stuff out. Let's check out this one. Save the planet 1991. Talks about greenhouse. Register for updates. A message from the author is recommended reading a game of global roulette. Game? Yeah, of course. Choose a CO2 emission target for the next 10 years. Oh, let's do 50%. 100. And it's just building the graph. Let's do 130. 130. Oh, it's going down. Oh, it's, oh, it's spiking. Oh, we're, we're dead, I think. I don't know. This is ridiculous. I'm out of here. Let's check out the ozone database. Why not, right? CO2 from fossil fuel use. Population and petroleum. I mean, this is insanity. Look at all this. This disc is just piled with crap. We got to check out the neural network simulator. I don't know. There we go. Wow, we are in some sort of NASA JSC AI section. Um, let's create a nut. File name Zan Bros. I just made that up. Can't open file Zambros. What? Oh, I gotta pick a choice. Um, teach it. Okay, last but not least, I want to try to see if we can get those audio files to work. So let's see if we can pull those straight from here. There was four of them. We should play here. Fast, D-18 seconds and counting engines start. You 
the wee ones be with you, Thomas. Good Lord, ride all the ways. You've got speed, John Glenn. That is awesome. Wow, let's, my mouse would stop going crazy, there we go. Well, that was short. Uh, nothing to hear there, folks, to be honest. Let's see if that'll be up. I think he's talking about aliens. Who knows? Zico. Five degrees fired. Okay. I just asked. Roger, zero G, and I feel fine. Capsule is turning around. Oh, that view is tremendous. That is so cool. I mean, that's, that's the gist of it, folks. It is just a really massive index of, of stuff. I mean, I can't even, I, I, it would take me days to go through it all, which I'll do, but I mean, just, I mean, it's just crazy and so cool. Of course, you can probably Google and find lots of this stuff these days, but if I would have had this in 1993 as a kid, my mind would have been running wild with possibilities and excitement of what's on here and what I was going to find and what image, you know, what would it show me next, you know? Oh, that looks... Let's just see. That's the description, but... It is just incredible. summit of Olympus. I mean, yeah, I could keep doing this forever, but I simply can't, folks. It's just got to end sometime, and I think that time is now, but it's just, it's just a cool disc, you know? And in the way they set it up like that with that command prompt style menu and everything just brings me back to the old days of software like this where it was you know, cutting edge, primitive now, cutting edge then, and still a ton of fun, at least, at least to me. I hope you found enjoyment in this too. If you want to see more of this, please let me know in the comments. I'm happy to revisit it and check out stuff we hadn't checked out yet, because as you can see, there's just oodles of programs and imagery and text files and documents. It's just endless and really, really cool. So as always, thanks so much for watching. Have an awesome day.